Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 five five series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Today, I'm joined by Andre Corbold, City Manager with the City of Edmonton. Andre, a thank you for being here. My pleasure, Rachel. It's good to be here to talk about this issue. Let's start off by introducing yourself and telling us about your position with the City of Edmonton. Well, I am the City Manager for the City of Edmonton. I've been here for two years. One of the reasons I wanted to come here and do this work here in the city is because I think energy transition is really exciting. And I think the, the kinds of topics that require hydrogen, for example, to happen are really important to energy transition and climate action. And it's one of the reasons I, I wanted to be here and work at the city. Andre, what can you tell us about the hydrogen bus project? The hydrogen bus right now is a, just a collaboration between us and Strathcona County. We've got two buses doing a pilot that are on the road uh, doing training and safety testing now and, and will soon be actually operating here in the city of Edmonton. We're really excited about that. And of course, it's a great demonstration, a real genuine demonstration of how hydrogen can be used in a low carbon economy. That's what we're striving for. And so there's no better way to do it than to actually do it in the city and get it done and use it for transit. And then we can expand to all sorts of other things, including our fleet vehicles. Why is this project important for the city of Edmonton and the hydrogen economy? Well, I think the hydrogen economy can be centered in Edmonton. We're, we're doing things in this city that are sort of leading edge in terms of hydrogen implementation. And so I think it was very important to demonstrate visibly that you can have a hydrogen bus that actually moves people and can be part of your transit system. And yes, it's only one bus, but it's one of many to come. We did the same thing with electric buses. We have about 60 electric buses operating in our fleet right now, but we know the future is hydrogen here. It's a mix of electric and hydrogen buses. And we wanted to demonstrate that so people could see it and feel it and know it's possible. And I also think that City of Edmonton is wanting to lead by example in this field of hydrogen. So there's no better way of doing that than one of our most visible services which is transit. In your opinion, how scalable is hydrogen in the transportation sector? And how does the Alberta climate impact this? Yeah, I think it's completely scalable to everything that we're doing in the municipal sector. We're looking at transit, but we're also looking at fleet vehicles. So I would love to have the first hydrogen fire truck, quite frankly. We're talking about how we transition our entire fleet of vehicles, not just ones in transit, but ones that do the work of the city. So, you know, snow and ice clearance, snow plows, fire trucks and all those things, you know, we can eventually, I think, transition to hydrogen as an option. So we want to completely scale it up. I also think it's scalable in district energy schemes and anything that requires heat and energy and this is what's great about hydrogen you mix it with oxygen the output are two things heat and energy and then the only thing you don't need of the output is water which can be used and recycled for other things so it's a great technology once we get the regulatory environment framework sorted out there's no end of this going forward how is the city of Edmonton working towards implementing alternative energy projects to improve ESG goals we as a city want to be net neutral by 2050 and so therefore we as the city corporation have decided we want to be net zero by 2040 which again is demonstrating some leadership by example and i think if we can demonstrate to to people that we can do it at a city corporation that's pretty complicated then i think anybody can do it hydrogen is key and it's one of the transitions we need to make from an energy perspective but there are also things that we want to do with our buildings we want to retrofit our buildings so they're net zero we are building right now our first brand new net zero fire hall. But I think what's really strong about this region is we're all collaborating in amazingly with all the municipalities in and around the region. And we have this hydrogen hub that is, you know, well led by one of our close neighbors in Sturgeon County, the mayor and city manager there. And we're working together collaboratively on how we can transition things and, and move forward. And so it's a great partnership. We've got the attention of the world, I think, in terms of this is the place to really excel. We're going to keep doing that and holding that promise for our energy transition needs. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insight and telling us more about hydrogen and alternative energy goals within the city of Edmonton. It was really great chatting with you today, Andre. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the opportunity. And, uh, Look forward to folks coming to Edmonton and riding our hydrogen bus. Thank you for watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. Make sure to like this video, share it out, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. We'll see you next time.